Diaz 1-1. One, one. What do you think about the game? Uh, I think it's exciting just the fact that the World Cup's here first and foremost, right? I think uh, the United States looked, I would say, like the dominant team for most of the pitch, or most of the match, excuse me. But, you know, I think the second half will really brought the game to the United States. I feel like one of the things the U.S. was going to be questioned on was, you know, in adversity and how the team would react um, in exactly that moment, you know, with 15, 20 minutes left in the match, tied game, you know, and turning on that, that next level. I mean, that's a young U.S. side, right? A very talented group. Um, lots of lots of great players that are playing at the highest of levels around the, the world. But you know, this is the biggest stage, right? And a lot of these players are playing their first World Cup, so it's uh, a bit of nerves and I think it's a big opportunity. I feel like, you know, Wales brought a little bit of physicality to the game that really knocked the U.S. off of their, their game plan a bit. We feel like a little bit of possession lacked in the second half, which probably opened the game up a little bit more for Wales. Uh, on the transition, of course, an unfortunate penalty kick to maybe saving that guy up a little bit more rather than diving in. But overall, I thought it was a great start. 1-1 um, is still a good result. Um, after the England match, you know, it kind of puts things in perspective on what the teams need to do to be able to close out. Huge match on Friday with the club, you know, for the mistakes of being able to get three points against England and probably one of the biggest matches of uh, our know, country as yet. Okay, so that group is England, Iran, USA, and Wales. And now the group is kind of taking shape now with US topping the, the England topping the group with three points and US and Wales sharing the squad so they want a piece. So who, are you, who do you think is going to qualify top of that group? I hope it's going to qualify with the next person. I mean, obviously England's favorable now after a strong result against Iran, but I mean, I think well, the U.S. was always looking at this England match as a pivotal game within the group, um, depending on who was going to be first and second going out of it. Um, regardless of the result, they have to get a result against England to put themselves in position. Um, but, you know, obviously I think England's obviously in favor now. Um, I feel like Wales has their work to do now still, because I feel like the U.S. is a dominant side. Um, but unfortunately, you know, with the tie draw, it kind of leaves the door open for both both sides to see who's going to come up top. But I think England's going to probably take that first seed, and then the U.S. hopefully can close out two results, um, of course, against Iran, but, you know, obviously against England. I think a good win on Friday will put them in a good driver's seat going into uh, the final game on Monday. Just had it no one, from no one else but Mike Shabala, two-time MLS champion breaking the game down against USA versus Wales. We saw the game, we shared the spells, but we hope not for the best for US team as we continue the action, the goals, the excitement of Qatar 2020. USA, 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 USA. USA. <laughs>